evening, everyone. Tonight we'd like to read to you from God's Word. A very important message. Reading to you from Titus chapter 3, verses 4 through 7. But when the kindness of God our Savior and His love for mankind appeared, He saved us, not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to His mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that being justified by His grace, we would be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. The message that we are giving to you today is a message of what you are trying to, what you may be trying to do in your own righteousness and what God has done to make you righteous through Jesus Christ. So the deeds spoken of in the passage, these deeds are what you may think of as good deeds and things that you make. Give yourself as credit before God. You may think yourself righteous if you give to the poor, if you donate your time to charity, if you do any number of good things. The problem is the standard of goodness that you have set for yourself is your own and not God's. You must understand that God has His own standard because His ways are not our ways and His thoughts are not our thoughts. It is a completely different standard that God, who is your Maker, has established for you to adhere to. One way that God has established His righteousness and His rules is through His Ten Commandments. Now let's walk through some of them and see if you are righteous in God's sight on your own doing. One of the one of the commandments is, "You shall have no other gods before me." Every person, myself included, the men around me, everyone who has ever lived has put something else before God in their lives, continuously, daily. We seek to worship what we know, and often what we know and we worship. These things are not God. These things are not godly. And so we worship what we worship an idol, we worship money, we worship power, we worship sex, we worship drugs, we worship anything that will make us feel like we're okay, you now make us feel right. Another commandment has to do with adultery. You may think you're okay with adultery if you've never had sex outside of marriage. Perhaps you think you're okay with that commandment if you're not married. Maybe you're single like me and you think you can't commit adultery. But the standard that Jesus has established in His Word is quite different. Jesus said, if you look with a woman with lustful intent in your heart that is committing adultery, we know that Jesus through the Bible is the Son of God and that what He says is true. And so if you have lusted after someone else in your heart, then that is breaking God's commandment. Here's another one, another commandment that God has established is to honor your mother and father. No one has ever honored their mother and father continuously for all times. No one can do that, myself included. It is impossible to keep all of God's commandments. It cannot be done. That is why God's word says, he saved us not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness. Because our deeds are not righteous in God's sight. They are not righteous. But we are not stuck in this position. You would think, you would think that in this position, with God being holy and with us being without any hope at all, what you've got to understand is that God has made a way, even though we cannot be righteous on our own, to credit us with righteousness. And that righteousness is through Jesus Christ for all who believe. And so the rest of the passage says, but according to His mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing by the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out upon us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that being justified by His grace, we would be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. So being made just in God's sight, is it's an exchange. Instead of being under God's wrath, being justified in Christ Jesus means the penalty that I deserve for my sins and that you deserve for your sins and failing to keep God's law, that reproach and that punishment fell upon Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and the means, and the only means by which your sins can be forgiven. He is the only means by which you can have righteousness. It is Him and Him alone. 
We do not preach ourselves, but we preach Jesus Christ and Him crucified, that you may have life and life eternal. So we ask you today not to trust in your own good deeds, but to turn from any self-trust or self-worth you may have. Call upon Jesus Christ and bow the knee, accept Him as your Savior, for the forgiveness of your sins and eternal life, that you may be found in Him and not found in judgment on judgment day, going into the lake of fire for all eternity. We plead with you because we do not desire hell for any of you, nor does God. We desire that you may have life in Christ alone. Thank you for listening.